hi so welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to see how we can connect influx db time series database with the python code so in our previous tutorial uh, we saw that how we can connect the javascript node.js with influx db so in this video we are going to follow the exact same tutorial but now we are doing it with python and in the later series uh, we will create a full stack uh, node.js and python flask applications of how we can store the data in influxdb and how we can make complex queries so this is just a basic video how we can connect so uh, we are going to use docker container to run our influxdb on our local computer so we are just going to go here and we are going to run this command the port will be 8086 uh, the volume will be this and the database will be used in this folder and then the name of the database is this we are going to pull it and now it will be installed and later we will go to localhost 8086 to uh, configure our database okay so it's I think it's done so we can just go to localhost 8086 so uh, right now it is not uh, configured so we are going to configure it let's keep the username admin password is like anything and we have different organizations so let's name this organization as YouTube and the bucket name as storage so this uh, this concept is same like the amazon s3 storage you have different buckets and you want to store the data in different buckets and then you have uh, different organizations let's say uh, there are different organizations and you want to manage them and their database so that's how you are going to uh, get start with this influx db so let's create it and we are going to say quick start because we are not using any advanced feature uh, so if you go here uh, we have API tokens and we can generate one and uh, then we have if we go here we have this uh, storage um, bucket which we have created and can I select all no okay um, but yeah okay so these are just random data which has been put so now we are going to put our own data so uh, now this database is ready let's go and uh, type the scripts in uh, yeah so I have already created two file influx write and influx read so in the influx write we are first going to start import influx db underscore client this is a client library which you have to install so you can say pip install influx db underscore client so I have already installed it so it's uh, already installed for me you can install it and then influx db underscore client dot client dot write dot write underscore api import synchronous and then we are going to define bucket organization and token along with the URL so you see these are the same things which we have done in our node.js tutorial so the bucket name is storage organization name is YouTube which we have created earlier we are going to create a token and the uh, URL is localhost not 3000 8086 and I think I'm missing something here yeah so our we are going to and first of all we are going to write client influx DB underscore client dot influx DB client url is equals to url token is equals to token and finally organization is equals to organization we have initialized a client and for the token let's go to this influx db go to api tokens 
and let's say generate a new token uh, testing save it copy to clipboard and then go back to the code and let's paste it here so our token is ready and now we are going to write the data in uh, influx so what we can do is write underscore api is equals to client dot write underscore api write options we are going to make it synchronous so the data must be written in the synchronous fashion and then we can say um, data is equals to influx db underscore client dot point we are going to write the data point the name of data point is measurement and it has the tag of let's say building and we can say it's trade center and the data value is uh, temperature and we can say the temperature is 30 degrees celsius so we have this data so now we are going to write the data so we have bucket is equals to bucket org is equals to org and record is equals to data so let's run this okay so it has been run so let's go back and see if the data has been written so if we go to storage bucket and filter measurement so you see the measurement is here it's the temperature of the trade center and submit so the temperature is 30 so we have added this so now we can uh, create our file where we can uh, make a read query so uh, let's copy like this in the read file and we are going to initiate a query api is equals to client dot query underscore api we are going to initialize it and then we are going to write a query uh, we are going to take data from bucket what is the name of the bucket storage and uh, this is the syntax so I am just going to copy and paste this uh, from here instead of writing everything so we can just yeah so this is the query you can you can actually go and see their api on this website so you can do this and i'm just going to copy and paste the query here so first of all our bucket is storage we want to see uh, like the data in the last 10 minutes and the name of the measurement is measurement what is the location trade center so if you actually go here it's building and trade center not the location so we are going to say r dot building and the field is temperature so once our query is written we can say result is equals to we are going to put this in the query api dot we are going to make a query uh, org is equals to org and query is equals to query we are going to pass the query and then we are going to create create a results as an empty array and then we are going to iterate through all the because it's going to bring a table by curing using the organization and the query so we are going to uh, uh, go through all the table records and for record in table dot records we are going to see results dot append we can say record dot get 
get field is going to get the field and uh, the field is this so this is actually the field and it will be temperature and we can say record dot get underscore value and it is going to get the value and once it is done we can print results so let's try to run this code i hope it works yeah so you see the temperature is 30 which we added so now let's uh, put the temperature value as 40 let's do this and then try to get it yeah so now we have two entries temperature 30 and temperature 40 so that's how you can connect the python code with the influx database and you can uh, right now it's running on my local host and the docker container you can you can run this in cloud and you can give the cloud url with proper access management and identity management parameters and you can also uh, grab or write the data to the cloud to the influx db instance running in cloud so basically how you are going to read and write this um, uh, and in the next few videos i'm going to create a python flask api with a proper uh, front end and we can see how we can send the data from front end to back end and how it's being written in the influx db and how we can uh, create an api where we can query the data with the specific parameters so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye